Okay, once again, good morning, everybody, and welcome to an exciting day here in this greater Louisville region. We are here to celebrate the ribbon cutting on one of the most exciting companies to have come to Louisville, Kentucky in quite some time. There are a lot of important people here from both within Signature Healthcare and from around the community, and none more important than the man of the air I'm going to introduce right now. Ladies and gentlemen, President and CEO, Mr. Joe Steyer. Joe? I want to thank you all so much for being here today. This is kind of a, a long journey, but it's our arrival in the city of possibilities for City of Healthcare. And so I could never take time to thank everyone involved, but I do want to take a minute and thank 28,000 families and residents that choose City of Healthcare for senior care services across the year annually. We have 11,000 dedicated stakeholders who, who believe in the mission and vision of the company, and they're looking for a social movement, not a corporation for change. Today we have 45 families that moved a thousand miles across the country from South Florida to Soulful, Kentucky to be here today with us and made the move. We have a hundred, thank you. We received actually 6,000 resumes um, during the rebuilding the company and we had a hundred Louisvillians join in the last 90 days to join the revolution. So we got a great team of people that are here today. I never like to give my team public compliments, but I would tell you today, our construction division, led by Mitch Abrams, that worked 24 seven, transformed the campus in 108 days into something, a massive environment you'll see in about 20 minutes. Also, we have an amazing board from California. Um, this is my hometown. It's where my heart and soul is, but I did not choose Louisville, our board did. So our board provides discernment and counsel and emotional support for us. They're here today and our chairman, Iris Medrum. There was, um, when we were searching between cities, um, I can just tell you, being a Louisvillian, that we have the best alignment in the country today between the state, the city, and the universities. That's why Louisville won. We beat everybody fair and square. And today, I will tell you, I can't thank everybody, but our great Governor Bashir today, Mayor Jay Everson was driver, um, Jim Ramsey, the University of Louisville, and the great GLI team, Bobby and, and, and Joe and Elaine, that team, and the economic development, Bruce and Deborah. The whole team came together over six months and put together a deal that I think makes sense for everybody. I saw this week we had 15 companies choose Louisville, Kentucky in the past two years. That's going to be a reoccurring theme over the next 10 years. Looking. And today, um, I also want to thank the great political leaders that came out today. You'll, you'll see today we had, we had Julie Denton come out, Councilman King coming out. We had some great players, Dr. Congress Yar Yarmouth coming out. We had so many people come out today. I can't thank you all. But today, this weekend, while we're painting the building and hanging up last pieces, I thought, how do you capture the motion of this day? And this day is not about Central Health Care. It's about the city of Louisville, Kentucky, becoming the national leader of senior care. There's international problems in health care in this country. And as I, as I served on University of Miami's board, I had 12 different board members from different countries. And they talked about the problems, not just in the U.S. system, but the opportunities abroad. So we talk about international, that can be a reality. So I tried to capture the, the motion of this move. I decided to write a poem today that would be read today. So I wrote a poem this weekend called Our Town. I wanted to have Diane Timmering, our head of spirituality, who built us from one employee to 70 spiritual leaders of our company, read the poem Our Town. Good morning. morning. Our town. <clears throat> it may start on a little league baseball diamond in a middle class Hikes Point neighborhood when two 11 year old pitchers, one for the Dodgers, the other for the Cubs, that becomes a sacred phone call three decades later, which triggers the founding of a revolutionary company. It may start during a first business transaction between two neighborhood boys with sweaty hands in the corner of a cold garage trading, trading a 56 Ted Williams for a Mickey Mantle rookie that becomes a chance reconnection 32 years later and a fresh look at one's hometown. It may start between high school classmates who spiritually bond serving in their first wedding party together for the former king and queen of the prom, which links a destined introduction to a visionary university president, unleashing a new way to think about healthcare innovation. It may start with three childhood friends who have finally earned their first job and now seek to help the homeless 
who meet a dynamic young woman to lead the cause, who all reunite two decades later for an idea festival that ignites everyone to think beyond the scope of possibility. It may start with two seven-year-old boys dreading their summer swim lesson that later crests with a group of similar thinking thought leaders who found Louisville's new blue ocean of endless jobs. It may start with struggling, nonconformist high school adolescents dreaming of personal freedom, but who constantly receive Edisonian rejection, which translates into a company, a company headquarters citywide celebration 26 years later because they had the trust of their partners to see the new vision for the city. It may start with four high school paper boys who work 365 days a year, validated by their first presidential letter from a man named Ronald who were already dreaming of being the next David. It may take one really sick child for a father to understand the spiritual wealth of a community and the power of prayer to write a book and launch God in the workplace six years ago that after a 1,200 mile journey to the promised land, hope to be a spiritual addition to the international festival of faith. It may take one Catholic college on a hill after decades of steady leadership Encourage the brightest, who encourage the brightest minds to stay at home and learn the art of soulful business, which inspired leaders to dream of a new Mertonian leadership center, transforming the corporate mindset into an international beacon of light for the world to see. It may start with cities who could not hear a company sleepless hopes to fulfill dreams of its people for a GED to PhD program of intellectual prosperity while a hometown had already matched the dream to its visionary path. It may finally start to come together with key stakeholders from both coasts during cold winter days and nights and several committed California families saying, yes, this was the fertile ground for revolution. Perhaps it starts from an array of God's life's relationships combined with an intimate crossroads of godly purpose, uniting desire and drive into the harvest of opportunity. And it finally happens that hundreds of great leaders standing together in faith and hope in the same town that decades later becomes the city of possibilities and the idea capital of the world. Thank you. And, and I, will, I will close these comments. I think today we're at a tipping point in Louisville, Kentucky. In a town maybe that, that believed in this revolution, there's a bigger revolution coming. And you think today, you'll watch health care reform. There's not one political force that can change health care in the country. It's going to cause more than that. We think about America going from 34 million seniors to 70 million seniors doubling in the next decade. As I said, in Miami, I thought about 7 billion people in the world and 2 billion people become seniors in the next 15 years. This is not a, a local problem. It's not a state problem. It's an international opportunity for our city to come together. When I talked to the board members at Miami, we talked about new ecosystems new intersections of service and technology, new startup companies, new telecommunications, new investments, virtual best practices, and all those things can happen here in Louisville, Kentucky today. We go forward. This is not about Central Healthcare's arrival. It's about a collaborative force to make Louisville, Kentucky the senior care idea capital of the world. Thank you. All right, everybody. Thank you, Joe. And as Joe mentioned, uh, these decisions